Is it? Could you not zoom in a bit? No. Everyone, I'm just waiting to see if anybody else joins us. Oh, I can't separate that. Can you see if they separate, Rosie? Look, they're thinner. Okay, yeah, keep doing it. Might be more than that, Rosie. Might be several stuck together. Hi everyone. I'm just trying to sort out my leaves. I've got my daughter helping me. Okay, so tonight, let's just move it out. If you go there. I so said tonight, I thought I, I was asked to show encapsulated glitter on forms. So I'm gonna work on my own hand. Shout me if, I, if you can't see it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start, we'll start on this hand. I've actually taken my acrylic dip off, or most of it, not quite all of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll do one nail at a time, I think. Um, and we'll go from there. So, okay, so, so I'm just giving my daughter some leaves to separate. They're all stuck together. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to prep one nail. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to go for my ring finger. Can you see? Right, so I'm just... Just taking off any surplus cuticle. Remembering not to dig with my drill bit. Okay, so the drill bit I'm using. Hi, so the drill bit I'm using is like um, a pumice stone one and it doesn't dig in the nails like some of the ones. What? Oh, I thought someone was talking to me. Okay, so you keep your nail flat and drill bit flat and you work your way around. You don't sweep, you, you go in sections. So if I show you again, and I have it on quite a slow speed. So, so you do this bit and then you move your drill and you move that bit round and then you move it around again. You don't want to do a sweep in motion because you'll be likely to um, dig okay I've got this new one it's like it's a bit like a pommy stone but softer and I'm just gonna run it over the cuticle to see if there's anything loose hi, Mel. hi Michelle okay so I'm just gonna and I'm doing it in like little circular motions Okay. Okay. And then what I do is I use a sanding band, fine one. Only ever use the fine one on the natural nail. And on a slow speed again, keeping the nail flat, we're literally just scuffing up. The nail okay so I'm just going to take the length down a bit so I'm going to turn it up a bit
it just shows having extensions on does not damage your nails if done correctly. Mine aren't damaged or pitted or anything of the sort. So I'm just going to take the corners off. I find taking the corners off helps when putting um, forms on. There's just a very fine bit of dip acrylic left there. Let me just... Okay. Okay. So let me just get my other brush out because I'm sanitising my other one. Okay, so do that. I'm just going to cleanse it and all I use is isopropyl alcohol. But you can use the cleanser of your brand, whatever it is that you're using, just to make sure there's no oils, there's no nothing. Okay. Hi, Michelle Edwards. Okay, so the forms I'm using tonight, I've run out of my SBD forms, so I've got some of these ones left. They're MW. So that's what I'm using tonight. So I, I put that on the back. On these forms, there's a separate bit that you can take off. I'll take it off to show you. Just like that. So you can make a shorter um, nail form. Okay, so I'm just going to roll my form. and pinch it at the bottom i'm going to do a coffin shape so you to do like a coffin shape um the form has to be either slightly facing going down or you could do it sort of level but not going up like you would with a square because obviously the coffin that everyone calls coffin is just like a stiletto but without the tip okay so Okay, can you see? Okay. I'm just going to dehydrate and prep. You'll have to excuse me shaking. Got the proper shakes tonight. So I'm using Hazel Dixon's uh, monomer and I've got her clear too. So I'll be using those. So for this one, I'm going to um, just make sure my form's stuck. I'm going to, do you remember last week I did jelly nails? So I'm going to do something like that. So I've got an CC inks and I've got the orange so I'm um, gonna make my monomer orange so I've, I've opted for autumn tonight because obviously we've got our autumn competition so I just thought it might give you some ideas okay obviously when it comes to putting drops or anything in your monomer you can put as much or as little as you want depending um how strong you want the color okay so i'm just giving that a mix to make sure see nice and orange okay so i'm going to be using the clear and what i'm going to do i don't know if you can see them i've got little leaves here that I'm going to encapsulate. Okay, so I'm going to get a thin layer first, a thin layer.
Okay, so remembering to keep it nice and neat. I find if you're using glitter, sometimes if you're not very comfortable with doing it, put maybe a thin um, base down first. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to put a bit more on the actual nail. because I'm going to use um, clear to encapsulate because obviously we want to be able to see the leaves but I wanted an orange background that was transparent so I just thought I'd show you a way of using jelly nails that It's just not plain. Just want to put a little bit there. Okay. I haven't had time to practice on my other hands, my practice hands, so I hence doing it on my own tonight. Okay, so what you can do now is you could wait for that to set a little bit and pinch if you wanted to but if your form's relatively nicely pinched you don't really need to just a personal preference so then what I'm going to do is oh, hang on let me just put a bit there I've just spotted I've just spotted something there we go got it off I don't know what that was okay so what I'm doing is I'm wetting my acrylic and then I start picking up my leaves shout if you can't see anything I don't think we've separated all these leaves enough that's need separating if they're not separated properly they get a bit chunky No, that's got too much on it as well. I'm a tad disorganised, sorry. I'll use some of these coloured ones as well. Now I can see... So I'm just re-wetting. So you can put on as many or as little as you want. Entirely up to you. I think I'll leave that at that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a clear monomer, not my orange, because I've used the orange. I want clear so we can see the leaves. All right, I'm just wondering if those leaves are going to be a bit thick, but we'll, we'll soon find out. So I'm just cleaning my brush. Okay. And then we encapsulate. Can you not do it, Rosie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when you're encapsulating, 
try to remember you walk the acrylic and not drag it because you might drag whatever it is that you're encapsulating so can you see we just walk it down the nail All right I'll take that excess bit off And if your acrylic starts drying before you're ready, just dip your brush back in your monomer and it'll do the job for you. Okay, let's get a bit just for that back bit. Okay, so... And obviously, depending on what length nails you're doing, is where your apex and everything is, your strength. Okay. Okay, so there's my first one. So I'm just going to let that set a second. Um, and then I'll give it a slight pinch. Okay. If you want to see it from the side. Is that okay? Sorry, I just I decided I wanted to make that a bit flatter. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to prep the next one so we can do something different. I wasn't sure how many nails I was going to get time to do, so hence I took four off. So, okay, so I'm just, I'm doing it alternate like this, so I, my dust doesn't go on my, my wet acrylic. Normally, if it's a customer, you'd get, you'd do all of them at once. Okay, so I'm just taking away just cuticle, dry, dead cuticle on the nail plate. We're not digging holes or anything like that very soft and very gentle okay so you do it in sort of like circular movements always keep your drill bits flat so you're not digging that's really important and make sure that you use the right sort of speed for the right type of drill bit so really coarse drill bits need to be used at a faster speed. The finer ones you use at a slower speed. Okay, so I'm literally just going to go around. And I'm just scuffing. Just going to turn it up just a fraction. Okay. Okay, I can see a little bit of cuticle, so I'm going to use my, my ball bit again. I've got another small bit. I can show you this. Let me show you this one. So this is a tiny bit that you would use for cuticles too. There's lots of different variations. Um, so it's just trying to find the one that you prefer to use. You see? So you don't dig in the skin. I tend to pull it back and then you use circular motions to remove anything. There we go. And it gives you that lovely, nice, clean cuticle area. Okay, file. I'm just again going to take the corners off. Obviously, if you're doing a square shape, you would take the natural nail right down short. But I'm not taking mine dead short because I've got to go have naked nails next week because of 
I've got an operation to have, so I don't want them dead short because when they're dead short, I pick them. Thanks, Kelly. Okay, so I've wiped the dust off. I'm going to use my my isopro alcohol. You use your cleaner, whatever it is that you use. Okay, and my nails are nice and healthy. Then there's no there's no sore bits or anything like that. So if anyone ever says to you that it ruins the nails, it doesn't. I've been wearing nails for like 20 years now and there's nothing wrong with my nails at all. Okay. So when you get a form, you roll it to create the C curve. And again, because I'm going to do a coffin, I'm going to have it facing slightly down. Obviously, with some forms, you have to um, cut the sides to get it fit. But these forms, I don't need to. Okay, so the other one, yeah, is ready to pinch. So I pinch. I always give it a a quick pinch like this. As I say, when the form is um, fitted relatively well, you don't really, you don't have to. Okay, let me take that off. So when you take off, you make sure it's going all along like that. And when you take it off, you pull down and away, not pull up because you might pull your extension back off or hurt your customer. Okay, so this time I'm going to use, um, I've got a Brill Bird coloured acrylic D10, which is like a nice greeny colour, lovely autumn colour. Okay, and I'm going to put let me show you I've got some dark brownie, I'd say that's more black, let me go to the other one, okay, okay, can you see, chips and stuff, so I'll have a little play with that, okay, because I'm using the, the, um, the coloured, this is a coloured acrylic, the Brill Bird one, it has to be encapsulated, so you, you need to put um a, a very thin clear base some of some brands you don't and that's perfectly fine but with this brand with the brill bird ones i know you do so that's what i'm gonna do just gonna prep dehydrator and primer always make sure your primer's dry before you start Okay, just making sure my brush is nice and clean. And remember, when you're working with coloured acrylics or um, glitters, I've got this little pot I've shown before, but I'll show it again. And I have two lots of monomer, and I keep one bit purely for the clear to encapsulate, because otherwise, you know, the colour some coloured acrylics change the colour of the monomer, and you'll end up with a murky clear, and you won't get the effect okay so just picking up some of my clear and i'm going to create a thin base obviously when you put your acrylic on your form and it, if it's running everywhere you haven't got the right consistency Right, if I tip this, it, it's not running, it's perfectly mouldable, and that's what you're looking for. 
okay so again remembering to work nice and neat and patting rather than pulling okay Okay, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of clear at the back. It's always clumsy to work on yourself when videoing. Okay, just gonna I'm just gonna have to find myself some models. Okay, so I'm gonna use my um clip my, my green and I use my coloured acrylics a bit like paint because um, it's there for the show, it's not there for the structure and it's more economical so I put it just right in front of the cuticle and walk it around my cuticle area okay and then I'm gonna paint it down the nail Okay, so there's no bits there, so that's fine. Just put a bit more green. Okay. And then, right, so there's two ways of encapsulating, well, three ways, really. You could mix your glitter with your clear acrylic, so it's three to one ratio. So one, one glitter, three clear acrylic, or you can, paint your put your wet acrylic on and then dab the gl the glitter on next or you can pick up your acrylic dip it in your glitter and then place it so i'll 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 do that one this time and i'll try and do another nail um to show you a different method so i'll pick up a bit of acrylic like this and then i'm going to dip it in my glitter and then what I do is I roll my brush so the the glit the acrylic is on the underneath and the glitter's on the top where I want it see so Reminds me of tea bags. How bizarre. Okay, um and then what I'm going to do, because I think it could do with just a something else. I'm a bit fussy. So I'm just gonna bring pick up a tiny bit of acrylic, just a tiny bit, and I've got some brownie gold glitter here. And I'm just going to put it on really thinly and brush it through. So it's not covering, it's just blending. So you've got a bit of both, if that makes sense. Okay, a bit, went a bit too high, so I'm going to just sweep some of that off. Okay. Okay, and then we go back to the encapsulating. In your clear monomer again, you can do the clearing one, one bit if you're comfortable doing that, but if you're not, two or three bits like normal is just as good. You see, not running in everywhere. So if your if your acrylic is running, not right ratio. Okay, it should be mouldable. Okay, and patting and walking the whole way, so I'm not dragging my glitter that I've just placed. Okay, take off that surplus bit. Okay, 
I'll just get a bit for the back. Again, place it just in front. And then just generally move it around the cuticle area, the cover. See, again, I'm not dragging, I'm patting. Okay, and just walk that bit further down so we don't end up with a massive lump. And I think I could do with just a little bit here. Not quite thick enough there. So I'll just pick up a little bit. I'm bleeding out the back, so it's super dry. And there we go. Okay. Right. So that's what another one done. I'm just putting my lids on. If there's anything you want me to show you, by all means shout. Just get another bit of tissue because I seem to have made a bit of a mess. Okay, so I shall prep another nail. Normally, as I say, if it's a customer, I do them all at once. But I wasn't quite sure how many nails I'd be doing. So, hence, well, I've been doing them gradually. Okay. So, again, round the sides. Nice, gentle, circular movements. no digging holes or dents or anything like that in the nail I'll use the big soft ball again to show you I thought I'd include this bit just so people can see if I'm waddling too much just tell me and I'll, I'll shut up because I can waffle okay sanding band next again if you look I'm keeping my my drill flat Just scuff in the area, ready. To put the form on. I'm just going to take the corners off with my hand file. See my nails aren't bendy or anything of the sort. Dust off, cleans with me alcohol and get my form. Roll it. put underneath okay make sure it's all snugly fit as you can see it's all nice and snugly you can't have a gap here because if there's a gap you'll end up with a ledge underneath and that'll encourage dirty bits and debris and that to get stuck which is not very pleasant Okay, just going to give this a little pinch. It's always a bit more clumsy when you're doing it on yourself. Put 
So while I'm waiting for my primer and that to, to dry, I'm doing this. Okay. So I think I'll do a fully encapsulated glitter one this time. Um, just so I can show. Not quite sure what I'm going to do. I think I might go with these two. I'm just going to go with these two, I think. Quite like the look of those two. Okay. And again, I will be um, putting a clear base down. Take that off. So I'll put my clear base down first. Nice and thin. Have any of you entered the competition yet? Some amazing colours for autumn. I love the autumn colours. Okay. Put a bit on the nail bit. Just nice and thin. So say for instance they want to, um, what I would class as a designing fill, you could just fold down to the clear and then just put new on. It would save taking it all off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways. So, so this way you get a bit of clear and you paint it on where you want it. Just like that. Then you dip your brush into the glitter that you've chosen and place it where you've put your wet acrylic. A little neater than what I'm doing because I can't quite see. I need to get some guinea pigs to work on. Okay, so I'd like a little bit more, so I'm gonna do again. Some people struggle to pick up with the glitter. So this is just another alternative way of doing it. Okay. So if you look, it's nice and thin. It's not bulky or anything like that. We don't want bulky nails. Okay, and the other way. Again, pick a bit up and then pick your glitter up. And remember to roll it when you put it on because then the acrylic is on the underneath and not on the top and the glitter underneath, if that makes sense. Because when I first started, I couldn't understand why my glitter was always on the bottom. Um, my acrylic on the top and it's because I wasn't rolling my my brush so I need a little bit more just pick up a little bit of acrylic dip and roll just like that okay so this is is like an ombre one So I'm dipping just a tiny bit and what I do is I take it up just a fraction further than I'd, I would normally 
and then I dip my brush into the other one and go over the same bit so they, they sort of blend if that makes sense so you don't get a sharp line you don't want to see lines in between your two colours so it doesn't look quite right I want a bit more on that end, so I rolled it. So, work it back. Okay. And there's a glitter nail. I'm going to encapsulate that now, like before. It's a bit repetitive, really. But I thought, you know, someone asked, so I thought I'd show you. And what I'll do is I'll file it off camera quickly and top coat it and put a picture up of finished products. Otherwise we'd be sitting here all night watching me filing and stuff. A bit boring. Say so again. Just... Patting and walking. Oh, and I always take it just past the end of my where I'm going and then take it off because it then sort of like encapsulate the end. Otherwise sometimes your glitter's exposed at the end if you don't do that and that's not what, what you want. No night, darling, my daughter's just going to bed. Hang on, I just gotta give her a kiss good night. Okay, dip, re dip my brush. I'm patting. I'm walking down. Is there anything else you'd like to see me do? Right this minute, doing like showing the sculpting and the the encapsulating. Actually, I could do one with dots. I'll do one on my little one with dots. And a bit of coloured acrylic and then I've shown you different ways so if you look I've got these brown and cream dots so I'll use those okay Anybody else like Autumn? I know it's some people's favourite time of the year. Anyone talking tonight? I've had a right old palaver with Facebook today. Two. I was a bit worried that I wouldn't get on tonight. Okay, let me just pinch that quickly.
Okay. I always make sure there's nothing underneath the nail because anything that's left behind for your customers to pick they're going to pick it and damage their nails so I tend to take away anything that's pickable cleanse form Rolling. Okay. Dehydrate and prime. Yep. Leave that to dry a second. Mm. So I'm using antique bronze from CJP. Okay. So I put my clear down first, like normal. Obviously, if you're using tips, you don't have to put the clear down, but you can still do the sculpting on top of the tip for the other part. So if you're not very comfortable using forms, you could do it that way, which always works. There's a bit missing there. Okay. So I'm going to do it a slightly different way around this time. So the, the acrylic colour is going to be on the free edge and my dots are going to be by the cuticle. Just to give you some ideas. Okay, so... Get my bit of coloured acrylic. And again, we're doing it thin enough to paint. Okay, so with the dots, because they're quite big, I'm going to put my acrylic down first and then place the dots on top. Too many there, let me just... Separate them out. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the darker brown ones nearer the cuticle with a couple of beige and more beige on the brown. Ones. 
Right, so what I'm going to do, I've got little gaps here, so I'm just going to get a little bit of acrylic again. Just paint it over the top so I can then continue to put and it creates a, a dimension which looks pretty good on there. okay so then I'm ready to encapsulate So I'll probably do the pinky in just one B because it's smaller. See, so I'm patting and walking so I don't, hopefully don't move. More dots. I love dots. Okay. Let's just put a bit more there. So I'm walking it back okay and that's about it tonight so what I'm going to do I'm going to so I'm just smoothing it so I'm going to um, fold them um, offline because it takes too long to watch um, and then I'll put a picture up of the top coat with the top coat on them okay okay then thanks for joining me tonight um, give it a go enter our competition autumn theme and I'll speak to you all soon bye <laughs>